Hello from OMB Warehouse and home of the Gray Goat Garage. Today I'm going to show you a couple different clutches and why we have some of these uh, issues with clutches. The biggest thing being lack of oil and I'll show you this in this old used clutch. Um, this one has some very hard miles on it whereas this piece is brand new. So come on over here let's take a look and I'll show you what's going on. To maintain these clutches, a pair of snap ring pliers is very much helpful for you. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the snap ring off the inside of both of these clutches so you can have a look and see what's going on with these. Like I say, this old used one has some very hard miles on it. Um, it has a stepped hub which tells me it was a two-stroke cart clutch at one point in time. So here's the brand new clutch. Um, looks good on the inside. There's no ridging here. Um, the bushing's in good shape. Still ready to roll. Still uh, in good shape. You'll notice that there's a ton of slop and play in this unit here. When I pull this out, you can see how much bronze is left on the inside here because of that bushing wearing out. This clutch would have gone on the engine this way with the sprocket outboard gives it a little bit more pressure there but uh, due to the lack of maintenance that bushing is worn out and needs to be replaced although the teeth on the sprocket look nearly brand new you'll notice that if I take this new drum it slides right over the hub and works well for any of these clutches it's very important to keep this bronze bushing lubricated this bronze bushing will actually absorb some oil so if we put a couple drops that was more than a couple move it around with our fingers we'll let that soak in for a while because it'll actually absorb the oil in this clutch um, with this clutch I'm also looking at the inside and you can see the the heat scoring in here but there's also a very noticeable ridge with my finger um, I was planning on rebuilding this clutch by just uh, installing a new bushing, but uh, I don't think that's an opportunity that I want to uh, take right now just because of the, the ridge in this clutch. I think we'll replace the entire drum, sprocket, and bushing all as one unit and uh, make this a serviceable clutch again. When you have scoring on the shoes of the clutch, you can I use some 120 grit sandpaper. You can lightly sand the shoes like this. Don't stay too long in one spot because we don't want to flat spot this. We're just going to take and get this cleaned up with a little sandpaper. Knock all the, the, the bluing and the ugly marks off and we'll make this a serviceable clutch again. Like I said this was a two-stroke clutch and it probably spun at a very high RPM for a while and it just needs a little help. So I can take this whole assembly here and wash it off with uh, brake cleaner. What I don't want to do, and I never want to do, is use brake cleaner on this unit here. This unit is easily cleaned by just putting a little WD-40 on a towel and just wipe the inside of the clutch out with WD-40. Get all the big chunks. We can do the same with this ugly drum here. You can see that uh, it's going to need a lot more work, but it's certainly uh, that, that sprocket is certainly serviceable if we changed out the bearing on the inside. A lot of times you'll hear clutches ringing, and that's because that bushing's loose, or something else. It's not right. Maybe it's never been serviced. Um, you'll notice the hub on this. Is still in decent shape and I would have no problem running this hub we'll get a new uh, washer for this get this all cleaned up and uh, this clutch will be back in service and uh, screaming in no time flat when I'm moving the clutch I want to make sure that no oil is present on the inside here. Make sure it's nice and clean. But I still have oil on the inside here. 
just going to wipe off the outside. I don't want to get any oil in here. And don't use any silicone-based or Teflon-based lubricants on this. If it gets onto this drum, it'll actually leach into the metal, and then uh, you'll always have a slipping clutch. So that's how to keep a Max Torque clutch living a long and happy life. Thanks for stopping by OMB Warehouse. Don't forget us, visit us online at ombwarehouse.com. This has been the Gray Goat Garage. Thanks for stopping by.